Good afternoon viewers, welcome to this edition of the Vantage Point. On today's program, we'll be talking with some folks from the Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union. On my right, we have Mr. Paul Clark, he's the PRO. And on my left, Mr. Patrick Bentor, he's the Vice Chairman of the Interim Management Committee of the Public Service Credit Union. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. Okay, so f I just want to know what is happening at the credit union at the moment. Um, what are some of the things coming along to the year end? We have a lot of persons mm -hmm. looking forward to um, loans and that sort of thing. Just let me know what's happening. Well, um, for this year, so to speak, um, we've had several increases, um, both in membership and, it, and the dissemination of loans as well. Um, Usually at this point at the credit union in November, mm -hmm. in previous years we would have closed loans and reopened in March. Mm -hmm. However, with the installation of the IMC, they would have reviewed the process and they felt that why should we close loans? One that we would have taken um, seriously. Mm -hmm. And now we're not closing loans. Come the week before Christmas, mm -hmm. we were closed there and open back the first working day in 2020, which is, I think is January 2nd, mm -hmm. so. So, um, at the moment, um, can you tell me how many, in terms of the membership, what are, what are the, the, mo the agencies which you get a lot of requests, you know, from, uh, from the public service? Okay. Uh, Mr. Mentor, do you? Um, the agencies in terms of requests for For loans, loans. For financial help. Um, um, first, we gotta look at the members. The members, as we understand, they're from the wider um, public service and mm -hmm. we're speaking about all the ministries as all the ministries and line ministries within the public service mm -hmm. and there are some public sector agencies which um, also their employees would um, seek loans mm -hmm. um, at this point to really identify where the majority of loans I know you didn't ask the question uh, mm -hmm. would application be coming from is a bit tough mm -hmm. um, what we know is that we have, as is usual, received an, uh, an increase in the amount of applications coming in. Mm -hmm. And um, this hardworking staff, I must emphasize on that, they are trying their level best to respond mm -hmm. to all um, requests for loans. That increase, is it for this year or over the years? Okay. Um, since the installation of the IMC, there would be just over 14 months, somewhere there about, they would have had an increase in membership. Mm -hmm. um, going back to the aspect of loans mm -hmm. and which agency or ministry, um, the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. and Ministry of Education, those are the two largest ministries we mm -hmm. would have, um, that would normally um, pay over remittances to the, the credit union, so to speak. Mm -hmm. However, we would have had, um, Previously, persons from the Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. they were, for the want of a better word, debarred mm -hmm. from accessing membership for the credit union. Mm -hmm. That is going back to somewhere about 2014. Okay. So those persons were mm -hmm. now able to access the membership of the credit union, enjoy the mm -hmm. process of actually securing loans and mm -hmm. so forth. So for the benefit of those persons who may want to join, um, what is um, the criteria for somebody to um, to access a loan, first of all, and for you to join, what are some of the things that you may need? Well, like Mr. Mencho mentioned, um, we're the public service credit union and, and we pay emphasis to government workers, mm -hmm. so to speak. So providing that you're gainfully employed in the public service mm -hmm. and you would not have attained the age of 70, mm -hmm. you can become a member of the credit union. And there is a process in terms of payment after a six month period, I think. Certainly. Mm -hmm. So you need to have six months continuous remittance from your um, salary mm -hmm. and then you're entitled to your first loan which goes up to between 100 or you can start as little up mm -hmm. to 300,000 for your first loan and your second loan goes all up to be to 1 million. And um, for, for, the, for the waiting period, is there like a, um, a time um, for, for those larger loans? Is it like a hassle in terms of the waiting? Good. So, all things being equal, our loans are basically issued on a co-maker basis, mm -hmm. meaning that you persons would need to have to access guarantor. Mm -hmm. So providing that you would have met that requirement, loans are approved within three working days. Mm -hmm. So if you come, let's say our meetings are on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. So if you come tomorrow being Tuesday and you apply for this loan, 
when you apply for the loan before the meeting day is on tuesday friday just about lunch checks are available that's nice um recently i was told that um by somebody who's a member that things have changed a bit in terms of the the actual um the way thing when you go there you you're there there's an increase in the speed before you would have had to join a line and you would have been waiting for hours and what 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 brought about that change all right um credit to the imc um, i just want to be seen as being biased but mm -hmm. um since the installation of the imc they would have reviewed the process mm -hmm. as it relates to from you enter the building until you're ready to leave. Mm -hmm. So what they did is that they made all the, the services central. Mm -hmm. So everything at member related is being done on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. And there's some chronological order in how things are being done. Mm -hmm. So you can move from one department to the next in, mm -hmm. in a quick time. In a quick time and then mm -hmm. you'll be able to um the other thing is that um what they did also in making the sub central mm -hmm. is they actually rehabilitated the the um the building, building uh -huh. right so as to ha effect comfort mm -hmm. as well and which aid in the fastness of the execution of processing of the loans okay so there are some things which the credit union usually um sponsor if, if, if there's another word to use um the i think grade six the national grade six um there were bursaries or something like that what are some of the things that um the credit union does to assist the, its membership oh, um the, what we did, and forgive me for saying we, mm -hmm. but the IMC and the um, employee, the staff of the credit union, mm -hmm. we went through a process of identifying um, the, the children of members mm -hmm. who will have um, performed the grades, national grade 6. Mm -hmm. um, we found that in the first instance there was a limited number mm -hmm. of students who benefited and we increased it to 50. Mm -hmm. um, students who would benefit because you recognize that um, this thing was not only about high flyers but this thing was about the effort mm -hmm. that the members children would have put and the support they would have got from their parents etc so we increased it to 50 and therefore um, this last boss representation um, we were able to I should say make um, 50 children a mm -hmm. bit happier um, mm -hmm. if, if I may interject there as well um, Previously, that would have been last year, mm -hmm. we had 50 persons apply. That's the uh, parents of the children who would have written mm -hmm. the uh, grade six assessment, mm -hmm. and all 50 were awarded. Mm -hmm. However, this year, mm -hmm. we had 106 applications, mm -hmm. and the entire 106 managed to secure bursary mm -hmm. from the credit union. And the bursary entails financial and mm -hmm. school supplies. Mm -hmm. Additionally to that as well, we had the top, it should have been the top five, but we had two persons coming in with the same mark. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, the top six, they have the opportunity to go through the entire secondary schooling somewhat mm -hmm. hassle-free as it relates to finances, mm -hmm. where the, the, the um, credit union actually would sponsor lessons, I think they said transport, mm -hmm. school books, and so on. So mm -hmm. we know how competitive NGSA is. Mm -hmm. So the first 50 somewhat would fall between the top the, the, the grade A schools. Mm -hmm. What about the other persons like myself? I would normally say, I was never on the honor roll, but I'm still not doing bad for myself now, mm -hmm. right? I would normally say again, whenever there is for a slow meeting, that some persons might have a, a, a fast 50 or a good 50, mm -hmm. and not necessarily a 100 as relates to running, mm -hmm. right? But what about the persons with the consistent 50? Exactly. Right? So mm -hmm. again, at the university, when you get there, mm -hmm. I mean, kudos to the children who would have gotten Queen's College and Saints and Bishops. When you reach to the university, mm -hmm. you're starting on a level play field all over again mm -hmm. right so as such mm -hmm. we, we invest in in everyone and not necessarily the high flyers is there a, a plan um, to, to, to make your your um, all these initiatives more public um, is, do you have like a Facebook page or is there a plan to, to market itself a bit more in that regard good so um, yes um, for the beginning of this year um, we would have um, we visited our marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. We're more actively on, on Facebook because if you go on Facebook, you'll be able to um, gather information as a, on our promotions and, and what is upcoming and so on as well. And that's the, the name is the same as the Guyana, Guyana, Public, Guyana Service. Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not GPS. GP is no, it's not, it's not the abbreviation. It's the Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited. You type that in and the, the page comes up. Mm -hmm. I, I think it would be interesting to note mm -hmm. that um, 
in the coming year, we intend to make the website more interactive, mm -hmm. where members can be able to um, see what we're doing and to give their opinions and suggestions, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, in, in the way we intend to really be more responsive. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I think the the we intend to move to a stage where we can even have online application, application. Online application. Uh -huh. yeah. right? Uh -huh. So it would save. And speaking of online applications, I know you haven't come to it as yet, mm -hmm. but um, in an effort to reduce the cost mm -hmm. to the members in terms of traveling to the credit union to get things done, we have um, given more meaning to this whole concept of outreaches, mm -hmm. where we've gone into the various regions. Um, I know Paul would have come to it mm -hmm. sooner mm -hmm. rather than later, but you know, I thought as an yeah. addendum to that, mm -hmm. we need to understand clearly that um, we are doing our level best to ensure mm -hmm. no additional cost is um, borne by the as a burden. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. So I was coming to that. I was uh, I was going to ask about decentralization. Um, a lot of people travel from far distances, far regions. Um, I have met some persons who you know they told me that they are going to to, to Georgetown mm -hmm. to, to apply for a loan, that sort of thing. Is there a plan to have an, a sub office or sub offices okay. around the country? Huh? Good that you would have mentioned that. That was one of our key points as well mm -hmm. to be expounded on today. Mm -hmm. So I think it's in August, mm -hmm. August of this year. Yeah. Yes, exactly. we would have um, opened a sub office in Region 2. Mm -hmm. So all the persons from that area, they don't have to travel to Georgetown anymore. The services that are being offered in, in Georgetown is being offered in Essequibo. Mm. The office is uh, located at the Anna Regina Regional uh, Democratic, Regional yeah. Democratic office. Mm. office. And for the persons outside of Essequibo <coughs> as well, mm. we would have given thought. We haven't opened sub offices in those regions, mm. however, what we have in those regions are representatives. Mm. Mm. So you visit the representatives, their name and their numbers are, are published on our um, Facebook page as well, mm. contact information. So what you do, you make contact with them mm. at, at a time that is relevant. They meet with you and you, if it is a loan that you're interested in, in procuring, they have the forms, they give you the documents, you go get your guarantors, you return it to them. Mm -hmm. Quite recently in Letem, we have a representative there who have been mm -hmm. um, working assiduously towards um, alleviating the costs for persons traveling to Georgetown. So when you go to her, mm -hmm. she makes contacts with us in, in, the, uh, in, the, in Georgetown and then mm -hmm. we process. What we do as well for those persons is that we place the monies into their account, providing that they would have requested that. An instance, if you don't request for the money to be placed in your account, mm -hmm. then we have the checks prepared and it's sent to the region. So that would be uh, a sort of way to, to have a benchmark of whether you should set up an office in those regions as well. Certainly. Actually, actually the region two offices is the pilot right now. Mm -hmm. But we have the representatives, as Paul mentioned, we have representatives in um, six, seven, nine, and ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, I must I must say this too, that the there has been a positive response. Mm -hmm. uh, the response is virtually overwhelming. You know, mm -hmm. in terms of um, you you can't help but hear the the I want to use this term joy in the voice of people when they talk about what they are now experiencing. And and mm -hmm. for me, um, it makes my contribution mm -hmm. um, that much more meaningful. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're talking to representatives of the Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union. Uh, we're talking about issues um, in terms of loans, how persons could access loans, the location of offices around the country. And um, we'll now go into some, some more questions about the IMC. Um, you mentioned earlier that it was in 2018 the IMC, um, its, its work became effective. What are some of the challenges um, the body may have been facing or faced and how did you manage to get, uh, get across those challenges? Okay, uh, when we got in, um, it's in May 25th, 2018. Um, obviously, we got in um, at a time when the previous management committee had been ousted, if I may use that term, um, due to um, mismanagement uh, and the CCDO collect, um, Chief Cooperative Development Officer, um, mm -hmm. she made the decision um, to remove them because of these mismanagement um, instances and install the IMC. Mm -hmm. What we, we found there, of course, um, there was 
we had we had to overcome cool challenges mm -hmm. we had to overcome cool challenges because um, the members of the previous management team felt um, that they should have probably stayed there forever mm -hmm. and that whatever was going on that they should have been allowed to continue to do mm -hmm. um, we had to overcome that to the extent that court mat the file court proceedings, proceedings against us mm -hmm. and these matters were all thrown out by the court as well as the appeal court mm -hmm. and I must mention that um, we are right now awaiting the payment of costs that were awarded to us okay fine having said that um, we when I mention some of these things here now, you'll, I want you to see them as the challenges we had to overcome. Mm -hmm. For example, we made that place a more, em a more member friendly mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. If you go to that place, you would be, if you know it before, you would be, I think, overwhelmed at the trans by the transformation. And for the benefits of persons, we're talking about the, 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 the office on Hatfield Street. In 45 Hatfield uh, Street, mm -hmm. um, working roads. Mm -hmm. The, the place has been transformed. We have, we have taken a decision to send the ordinary members on these overseas trainings that, they, that are offered mm -hmm. as against the old practice of directors alone going to these things. Mm -hmm. um, and I must admit that the fact that directors alone going to a conference mm -hmm. does not necessarily transform into the knowledge that they would have gained being... To trickle down. It doesn't, mm -hmm. and it didn't. So we took a decision that directors who are going, we'll send two directors, mm -hmm. depends upon how many persons um, are required to attend. We'll send the majority of participants as the employees, and we'll send two ordinary members who are not employees. Mm -hmm. And I think that seen as a challenge is one that you would see um, would have been the reason for people attempting to hold on to what they probably felt was their perks and privilege, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, another thing that um, we did, we recognized that the security of that place was terrible. And the word security definitely does not enter into the And for, uh, for an agency that handles business transactions? It's, it's a bank. <coughs> it's a bank. It, it, it operates in the mold of a bank. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, we felt that the security was terrible. We, we installed CCTV cameras, we installed smoke detectors. Mm -hmm. These are some of the things that a modern banking institution that the GPS U, mm -hmm. GPS CCU mm -hmm. requires. These are some of the things that that institution requires. Mm -hmm. We intend that our people must be safe. Mm -hmm. We do not intend that people can run in there and be able to do things that are inimical to the safety and the interests of the employees in the credit union. So those are some of the things that we had to do. Matter of fact, there is a, um, a software called Immortal, mm -hmm. that, which is the financial software. Mm -hmm. They had that software there, and employees did not understand the optimum uses of that software. And so we recognized that, and we recognized that there were several features and functions Mm -hmm. that people are not aware of and being sure they got training for that. So you mentioned training. I was going to ask that. What are some of the things that happen during the year or annually? Are, are there training programs, or ongoing training programs, or are there um, instances where employees are sent to the university or some institution to um, okay, advance um, their knowledge? Certainly. Uh, we have members of staff who are um, enjoying um, scholarships. Mm -hmm. Right, we have um, active training being done within the organization, mm -hmm. as well as we have staff who are overseas mm -hmm. on training programs as well, so as to enhance the effective functioning of the organization as well. So training is is of paramount importance. Mm -hmm. Is hand and glove, mm -hmm. both with the 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 um, new improvement as it relates to the renovation and the centralized services and so on. Because if we have all these things and we don't have the human resource mm -hmm. or the requisite human resource to have an effective flow, then mm -hmm. we're not doing anything. So they realize that there is a need mm -hmm. for that as well, and they would have embarked on that. One thing I wanted to find out: uh, we're talking about the the um, the positives and you know in a positive light. But what about are there agencies which may have been delinquent in their payments, and what is being done to fix those um, issues? I would like to see that. Indeed, there are agencies, and um, in fairness to them, I don't want to name them now, mm -hmm. but we have been able to go after, and I use the term after loosely, we've been able to go after a couple of them, a few of them, 
who have responded positively, you know. Mm -hmm. And we understand that there might have been circumstances which will have led mm -hmm. to their delinquency in remitting their employees' um, contributions, etc., mm -hmm. and um, loan repayments to the credit union. We understand that mm -hmm. we are working both ourselves and the agencies are working to correct mm -hmm. that um, anomaly. And what is the current figure, if you could like, um, tell me of hand in terms of, of the membership? Is there like a, um, a, a yeah. figure? We have, we have in the vicinity of 25,000 mm. in yes. membership. And I'd like to say that um, since we've been there 2018, 2019, we got in 16, 1,622 new members. New members. And as Paul mentioned earlier, um, some of those members will have made application from far back as 2014. Mm -hmm. And we were able to um, address that um, backlog mm -hmm. and um, bring in new members. Of course, um, this does not mean that we have not had, um, let's say, the resignation of members. This mm -hmm. has happened because people have attained the age of 70, they've retired, mm -hmm. some people have gone overseas, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But in terms of um, uh, balancing it out, we have, we have more of a positive mm -hmm. than any negative. And, and the, the members as well, um, it's important to note within mm -hmm. the 25,000, those are active members, but we have the, the number of membership is more than 25,000, but we have persons mm -hmm. who are dormant mm -hmm. and in some instances who are delinquent as well, but we just mm -hmm. focus on the active members. Mm -hmm. For those members who may have been there for years, um, is there a, a reward or incentive for them? Um, you know, like persons who may have spent most of their public life um, as a member of the, pub of the um, credit union? That's a nice question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a very good question. Um, I don't know that we are actively considering a reward or an incentive for members who have been there for long time. It's, long a, good, it's a good thought. Mm -hmm. What we did, um, in we did last year, was it? Yes. the end of last year, mm -hmm. we paid an interim dividend. We recognized that people, we needed to encourage people, let people understand that the credit union is theirs. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we want them to really feel welcome. They must feel a sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. And um, so we paid that interim dividend, which we hope to um, possibly readdress, uh, if, if there is such a term. Mm -hmm. um, after the annual general meeting, whoever takes over then, mm -hmm. well, they will be looking at a more um, a more um, substantial mm -hmm. um, dividend. Okay, uh, on that light, what are some of the future plans um, the credit union has up its sleeve for its membership and for its expansion as a, um, as a body, as an institution? Well, um, looking ahead in 2020, rather... Um, and 2020 is a very important year. Oh, yes, very, very yes, very it very is. It, in, mm -hmm. it is indeed an important year for, for Guyana as a whole. Mm -hmm. But more specifically, the credit union, um, like Mr. Mentor would have, Mentor would have mentioned, mm -hmm. um, annual general meeting. Mm -hmm. That is something that is on the front burner. Mm -hmm. We need to have an annual general meeting because if we know the term interim management committees, it's, it's for a period. Mm -hmm. So we need to have the regular rise. Um, Two necessities, one perhaps outweighed the, the other, mm -hmm. is um, home ownership, mm -hmm. right? Um, our members, uh, they've been requesting, you know, loans to pro to um, actually procure their home. And we know with a loan ceiling of $1 million, not much that you can do with actually the million dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so this is being tabled as well. Mm -hmm. um, it might not be the home that we dream about with the white picket fences and so on, but it's something that is livable. Mm. And of course, Credit Union is known for a low interest, so of course the interest is going to be what something. What is it? Can you mention? It's 1% of the reducing balance. Um, and what that means is that if you have a loan, mm -hmm. let's use simple figures of, of 300,000 being your first loan, mm -hmm. the first month interest is going to be 3,000. Mm -hmm. However, with the Credit Union, there is no additional charges, no hidden fees, no fine, unlike other financial institutions, mm -hmm. of which I'm fully aware of. If you want to go to pay off your loan before, mm -hmm. there's some point where they recalculate and then they say, well, okay, this is the total amount that is outstanding. You don't pay this, but you can pay this amount and so on. So there's no hidden charges. Mm -hmm. If you have access to additional funds after you would have taken the loan and you want to come to pay it back, mm -hmm. fine. We don't say, well, okay, you came mean you enjoy the, the the organization and all, all uh, everything that is there then you need to you know mm. put an additional something no mm. so we are known for our interests right and as a result of that the mortgages of course is going to reflect same 
-hmm. In addition to the, the mortgages, we are also looking for 2020 to have motor vehicle loans. Mm -hmm. Right? Why is it that we can't give loans to purchase motor vehicles? And that's the reason a lot of people would have taken a loan from you guys to, to make a down payment. Very well. To, to now, now you're touching on the point that I was just going to make. Mm -hmm. So they have financial institution of course i don't want to mention the names mm -hmm. who would have these promotions mm -hmm. and to get the initial startup or the down payment like you would have mentioned the they problem. visit the credit union have mm -hmm. that that down payment mm -hmm. and then they drove off and you are the person who is assisting in that process certainly so we want we want to now be able to issue those loans mm -hmm. of course all things being equal it's it's perhaps might not be um be able to be achieved Overnight. come certainly mm -hmm. right because as a cooperative there are certain things that governs a cooperative as well mm -hmm. so we need to get that that perspective I, I know those um, certainly but these things are not far flung mm -hmm. these are being tabled presently mm -hmm. and members can look forward to these initiatives come 2020. okay is the, there anything else another thing that um we need to touch on also among the projected mm -hmm. we will establish a medical and a pension scheme mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. life insurance scheme for um, the staff members. Mm -hmm. We're looking at that. What's the total staff? What's the amount of pers the number in terms of persons working? Staffing is in the vicinity of forty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just about or just about somewhere about forty. Mm -hmm. Forty, yeah, between forty to forty-five. 45. Mm -hmm. Right, and another thing, um, uh, we're looking at a revised collective bargaining agreement with the union, which is. CCW. Mm -hmm. um, I think I need to state quite clearly that since 2007, there has not been a new any negotiation with regard to the, the 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 welfare of the staff as far as emoluments. I think we increase the, the IMC increase the salary of the staff, mm -hmm. and we are in discussion with. There was a training, and in the training it came out that there were issues re, um, relative to collective bargaining agreement, collective labor agreement. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took this on board and we made a few um, suggestions which the CCW is um, examining right now. So we expect that um, with that um, process in train that we expect that there will be better, um, better arrangements for not only the staff but it can trickle along also to the members mm -hmm. because obviously we like to pull along the staff in in terms of benefits mm -hmm. not the actual benefits the members would get because they're not employees but we want to at the same time have a concomitant um arrangement where employees are also benefiting from mm -hmm. things that we could afford to let them benefit from uh -huh, over time so before we close i just wanted to ask a question if somebody uh, may have leave, left the public service um and they may have want to continue making the payments is there a system in place for that Oh, certainly. So this is what happens. Um, if you were employed and remittance were being made from the organization of whom you were employed and now you've gone to an, a new organization who does not um, facilitate same, so we term you as direct payment. Mm -hmm. However, however, all the benefits remain the same, right? But your payment must be consistent consistency is the key so if usually the the deductions were made let's say on the 20th of every month mm. perhaps no later than the 25th of every month ensure that you you come in and you make those payments mm. um apart and aside from um all that we would have discussed mm. we're fastly approaching the christmas season mm -hmm. right and we all know christmas is known for the season good will enjoy good <laughs> <laughs> i'm here today not necessarily as santa claus <laughs> But I, I'm, I'm bringing good cheers on behalf mm -hmm. of the credit union. Mm -hmm. So for the, the Christmas season, we, the credit union will be having a Christmas promotion. Mm -hmm. We have five lucky persons, as members of course, mm -hmm. would have the opportunity to get $500,000. Um, $500,000? $500,000. Each person. Each. Each person. Mm -hmm. Five persons, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the purpose can be what best suits them, be it um, home renovation, furniture appliances etc mm -hmm. now this promotion is scheduled to start on the 20th of november, november. Mm -hmm. if my mind serving right is on wednesday mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and it culminates on the 20th of december, december where we're going to have a drawing mm -hmm. however there must be some criteria mm -hmm. so members must be um at least five years a member with the credit union for at least five years 
of course the earnings must not be above one hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars and this this goes for persons who would have taken loans as well so mm -hmm. if you haven't taken a loan from the credit union i'm sorry mm -hmm. you would not be entitled to this promotion this is for our loan applicants right so even if you would have taken a loan sometime long ago mm -hmm. fine you're eligible to be there mm -hmm. and of course you must be in good standing mm -hmm. like you would have mentioned earlier you spoke about delinquents i'm sorry persons who are defaulters mm -hmm. or delinquent members would not be able to enjoy mm -hmm. this as well <coughs> and this is most importantly um important rather that staff members are not entitled mm -hmm. to be a part as well as committee members and immediate family of same mm -hmm. right we want to have a transparent process this is what happens the application forms will be available from wednesday at the office mm -hmm. where persons are expected to complete mm -hmm. and it must be accompanied with one of your most recent pay slip mm -hmm. to credit to the fact that you're working for a hundred thousand or below so the drawing would be on the 20th like i said mm -hmm. we would have an auditor there because we believe in transparency Right? We don't want persons to see that, you know, perhaps I would have left the form with this body and this person <laughs> never threw it in. So we have no contact mm. between you and the rotisserie when you're going to place this thing in there. Mm. Right? So you come, you complete the form. Of course, we have an officer who's going to authenticate same mm. because you can't say that you joined the credit union five years and your number perhaps is this. So exactly. they confirm that, take off, and then they ask you to just kindly place the mm -hmm. document within the rotisserie and that's it. We don't have any contact. This you, is, the, is this the first time? very well this is the first time one of same would be rolled out mm -hmm. from the credit union so we're antis eagerly anticipating the response mm -hmm. from our members i know after this this presentation would have been aired the, the ears would perk up <laughs> certainly so oh, and another thing you know <laughs> another thing that the auditor supervision fund among which was will have been one of the the things of pro a problem mm -hmm. um we were able to pay um to the chief cooperative development office or the ministry of um Cooperative Ministry of Communities, mm -hmm. um, the monies that were owed, mm -hmm. and um, we were able to get through negotiation a reduction mm -hmm. um, in the amount of money to be paid. And what we were given this reduction on the understanding that the money would be spent for the development of the credit union and the benefit of the members. So mm -hmm. those are things that we have done. You mm -hmm. know, clear, clear it up. Okay. Yeah. So for uh, information purposes on the, the um, Christmas promotion, mm -hmm. um, members can make contact with the office on numbers such two three one zero eight eleven two two five seven eight seven six. I go there one more time two three one zero eight eleven two two five seven eight seven six. You can visit our Facebook page, the Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited, mm -hmm. or you can visit our office at five five Hartfield Street, Freeburg, for additional information. Okay, is there anything else you would have to s would want to say in closing about the, the credit union? Yeah, I, I would like to encourage more public servants, if they are interested, let them make their applications to become members. Um, mm -hmm. They can only be a win-win situation here. Mm -hmm. Um, piggyback on what Mr. Mento <laughs> just said, I want to know if he perhaps would have picked my brain. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that the credit union is for the people. Mm -hmm. and, and, and quickly, if we understand how the credit union was actually bought it, the credit union came on the backdrop of a strike that they had, an 80-day strike, mm -hmm. where just 29 persons pooled their financial resources and started the credit union. Mm -hmm. So unlike other financial institutions, perhaps who would have been part of a conglomerate mm -hmm. who felt the need to invest in the finance, the part, finance um, yeah, who, who, who tend to, you know, perhaps have investment. Mm -hmm right for the want of a better word so the credit union is a, a member based institution mm -hmm. right so there's more to gain than to lose to lo exactly it's, right? not a, it's not wider than beyond the and it's also well. not it's not also not focused on a narrow group of people mm -hmm. okay this mm -hmm. is for the benefit of the wider everybody members. yeah mm -hmm. all right so we have been talking with mr paul clark and mr mentor of the guyana public service cooperative credit union um, we have been talking about issues which um, are ongoing at the credit union, some of the positive, some of the not so um, very nice things. But as Mr. Clark had said, we, there is a promotion ongoing. Um, sorry, it, it's, it's going to commence on the 20th yeah. of November, a Christmas promotion in which five persons um, can win $500,000 each. So public servants who are members and who are in good standing, um, there's a criteria attached as well. You can make a call to the Public Service Credit, credit um, Cooperative Credit Union and you can also check their Facebook page from this Wednesday about their Christmas promotion. Um, thank you once again for viewing this program.